This isn't the end. talking about the horror movie The Void and this one comes out in UK on a limited cinema release on the 31st of March then available for digital download from the 7th of April and finally DVD and Blu-ray on the 24th of April and this one's actually written and directed by Jeremy Gillespie and Stephen Costani. Now the story of The Void I'm going to be quite vague on the plot synopsis here because I think the best way to kind of uh, appreciate this movie is to know not massive amounts about it and kind of just go with the flow. Suffice to say, it's a nightmarish mashup between uh, Hellraiser and The Thing. If you're a fan of old school, old school kind of gory effects, practical monsters, lots of blood and goo and stuff like that, you're going to love this film. So. The story basically starts off with a kind of a lone policeman, basically, who notices a kind of a guy in the middle of the road, th- initially thinking he's drunk, but he's actually kind of covered in blood. Takes it to a kind of a local hospital, which is a very small hospital. There's not a lot of kind of staff and kind of patients there. Um, and it, it unwinds, basically, there is a kind of a supernatural force at work. The, the building is soon surrounded by uh, kind of some weird kind of disciples in kind of Ku Klux Klan looking outfits and then nightmarish things start to happen within the building. And that's what I'm going to say on the plot of this one. So let's talk about positives and negatives of The Void. So you'll start off with the negatives. Uh, there is, there are only, there's no major negatives here. I feel this movie can be enjoyed, but there are just a few bits and pieces here that I was kind of want to t- touch on. Now, this movie doesn't spoon feed you the plot, which is part of the reason why I've kind of been a bit vague with the old uh, synopsis there. And in itself, that might be a good thing. But at the same time, I feel it doesn't go in enough to explain certain things. And you may be a little le- sort of confused in certain parts. For me personally, um, you have two other characters that kind of come into the hospital, um, you know, not not long into the action. But uh, I felt that they weren't massively developed. and I didn't quite know what the, what the deal is with those two. There's kind of skipped over a little bit too much to me uh, so there's a couple of instances like that where you think hey, i don't quite get what this is kind of trying to tell me so i don't think it does a um massive good job of necessarily explaining it now you don't want films necessarily to hold your hand but i feel maybe it went a little bit not too far but just a little bit uh too far in the maybe the other direction but you can kind of get a, you know the gist of what's going on obviously it's not like it completely confuse you but i don't feel it really kind of go through everything maybe it should have done and that also kind of feeds into my second problem with this and that's the editing the editing here i wasn't a big fan of because it does cut away on on scenes uh, where you kind of feel that maybe it kind of should have lingered on a little bit more the editing editing's quite hyper of this movie and there are certain scenes where I found found it quite frustrating, where it kind of cuts away when when some a monster grabs someone. You don't quite see what happened and things like that. Um, you know, and maybe it doesn't kind of give you in, enough information on the screen at any one time. Lots of kind of quick edit edits you can't see what's kind of going on sometimes, and that kind of feeds into my other issue is that the kind of the camera work and the lighting also doesn't help this. Some of the camera work here is, is not on the best side, and the kind of the lighting sometimes will be. Be like strobing and you just you just can't see what's going on uh which, which, which i found quite frustrating because the actual story here moving on to the positives is pretty decent uh, i've got to say um it really does uh kind of go down this rabbit hole of horror one of the things i really liked about this movie was the realistic portrayal of the characters in, in this movie first of all so let's talk about the acting i thought the acting was here was great i actually thought these these people acted in a realistic um, and believable manner about what would happen if you were faced with this thing. I mean, this the cop who's is kind of the main character just doesn't know what to do, and it, in, his portrayal was absolutely fantastic here. And I, I really loved his reactions to certain things. Obviously, when he gets a little bit more handled on it, he kind of obviously becomes more of a proactive. But uh, initially, you know, you think, man, 
you just wouldn't you just wouldn't know what to do in that situation. And we have like a nurse played by sort of Ellen Wong, who's this who's from uh, Knives Chow from uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, if you like that movie. And she's kind of this training nurse, and she just can't cope with it. I thought it was fantastic, the acting, to be honest with you. So I really like the portrayal of the characters, and the characters were both well-written and well-acted by the cast here. And the actual story is is very intriguing. It's very much a kind of, um, almost like an H.P. Lovecraft kind of love letter. Certainly something to bring it into the kind of the next generation of horror fans. And that was, um, you know, things that kind of touched on, like I've mentioned, and it, like I said, it doesn't spoon feed you. So you are kind of uh, you're given tastes of potentially a larger world, but you know you're not kind of you're not kind of shown everything. A lot of it you have to kind of like um, you know put pieces together yourself to a certain degree. So it does treat the, it, its audience with intelligence, and I kind of quite like the fact of that. And then let's talk about some of the effects. Oh, there are some gruesome effects in this one. If you are a gore hound, you will love this film. Like I said, it might bother you a little bit sometimes where they cut away. Um, but nonetheless, when we do see some stuff on screen, it looks fantastic. I mean, it's it's all practical effects pretty much, I think. And there are a few sort of digital effects here and there. But mostly it, it is kind of practical effects. And there is some great stuff on the screen here. There are some really horrific scenes that you'll see here. And, you know, it's one of these fil- films where you, you can imagine, like I said, the, the actors do a good job of really bringing you into this kind of in, into this kind of uh, movie. And you can just think, man, what would I do in this situation? You would just be so horrified. I thought it, thought it was absolutely great. So overall, uh, I thought this film was pretty good. It's a really good... It's a, it moves at a fair old pace as well. You're not kind of like be sitting around waiting for something to happen. The action pretty much happens straight away. So it's a pretty full-on film. And then just kind of gives you this kind of real feeling of like, oh man, how they, what's going to happen? How, how are they going to kind of resolve this? It's really like, you know, edgy of your seat. So overall, I really enjoyed this film. A couple of niggles. It was more on the technical side, if anything, for me. Um, uh, but overall, I really, I really enjoyed this film. It's definitely one I'll be revisiting. Um, glad I got to saw it. Go check it out. I'm going to give this movie a uh, 8 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.